Vanathi, who was clinging to the roof of Josiah's house and her life with it, was floating away in the flood of the Kaveri River. The flood carried her up and away to the east. It was slow at times. Sometimes it dragged on too fast. At other times, the roof of the house got caught in the big eddies and was thrown around and staggered. Sometimes the flood depth was not high in the upland areas. This was evident from seeing how far the flood had risen under the trees and how far the mandapas on the banks of the Kaveri were submerged. The eddies dragged her down into the depths before Vanatha could even think about getting down on the higher ground. Descending and Vanati are not so keen. Because she had an impression in her mind that the flood of Pawnee River was taking her to the place of Pawnee's silver. She was also impressed by the sly words of the swindler about the danger to the prince. She thought that the river Kaveri was taking her to protect him from that danger. Aha! Uh -huh. How much pride is that flower pot? How much claim does she have on the prince? However, there is reason to be proud. Is it because of the flower pot that the prince is alive today? Not a day. Vanati heard what the astrologer said. That's when the prince was born. Many such continents may come to him. But his life will not be in danger. What will the sea and the storm and the flood of the river do to those born to rule the world? For him to survive like that, someone must have a trick. Pungujali has got such a privilege. How can she claim that? However, Vanati's longing had been longing in the depths of her heart that she might not get such a blessing once. At some point Vanatha saw a boat coming far behind as the roof turned. It was known that there was one woman and one man. Not sure who. When the woman saw the boat steered, it seemed that she might be a phoenix. Is she coming to save herself from the flood? Has the younger brat sent it? Enough, enough. It is enough that the prince is her. Don't get another debt of gratitude. Not together. She should not be saved from this flood. Sometimes the boat seemed to come close to her and sometimes the roof sped away leaving the boat far behind. In this way the roof of the house seemed to turn towards the south at a time when the boat was out of sight. It went a long way. Crossing the south bank of the Kaveri, it went south into the floodplain of what appeared to be a single ocean. At last, the limit of the water flood was visible. Aha! It looks like a bank of a river. Yes, yes. This is the royal palace. The Kaveri breakwater floods many areas in the middle and falls into this river and mixes with it. Its southern bank is slightly hilly and is absorbed into it. The river bank, with its wooded appearance, seemed a familiar place to her. I remembered it like the smell of old birth. No, no. He saw it two or three times in this birth. She must be nearing the place called Tyrunalam. The daughter of Malavarayar, Sempi in Mathavi, is eager to make the temple there a black stone Tyrapani in memory of her beloved husband Kandaradatha Chola. There is also a spring house on the bank of the river for the Chola clans to stay. Champion Mathavi once took the younger Brady to that place and even went with him. How interested he was in going to the gardens surrounding that spring house and listening to the sweet songs of the birds. Aha! An incident that took place there was deeply etched in Vanati's heart forever. The daughter of Malavarayar, Sempi in Mathavi, is eager to make the temple there a black stone Tyrapani in memory of her beloved husband Kandaradatha Chola. There is also a spring house on the bank of the river for the Chola clans to stay. Champion Mathavi once took the younger Brady to that place and even went with him. How interested he was in going to the gardens surrounding that spring house and listening to the sweet songs of the birds. Aha! An incident that took place there was deeply etched in Vanati's heart forever. The daughter of Malavarayar, Sempi in Mathavi, is eager to make the temple there a black stone Tyrapani in memory of her beloved husband Kandaradatha Chola. There is also a spring house on the bank of the river for the Chola clans to stay. Champion Mathavi once took the younger Brady to that place and even went with him. How interested he was in going to the gardens surrounding that spring house and listening to the sweet songs of the birds. Aha! Uh -huh. An incident that took place there was deeply etched in Vanati's heart forever. He also went with him. 
how interested he was in going to the gardens surrounding that spring house and listening to the sweet songs of the birds. Aha! An incident that took place there was deeply etched in Venati's heart forever. He also went with him. How interested he was in going to the gardens surrounding that spring house and listening to the sweet songs of the birds. Aha! An incident that took place there was deeply etched in Venati's heart forever.